the industry is being referred to by some as China Wood. One research house predicts it will overtake Hollywood and even Bollywood by 2050 and is tipped to generate around $900 million domestically in just two years' time. A rampant economy has encouraged greater investment in local production. Even the country's communist government is recognizing the industry as a money spinner. The Chinese government purposely try to promote their cultural product, just like South Korea. You know, you can make money by importing those, uh, exporting those uh, um, cultural products. But despite rising middle class incomes, only a small proportion of the country's population are regular cinema goers. A ticket is quite expensive. Uh, I mean, uh, compare with the people's uh, income. Experts say many local productions are still losing money. So with this in mind, production houses are hoping for offshore ticket sales. Chinese directors are collaborating with Western studios, banking on the popularity of Eastern values and Hollywood know-how to produce features they hope will entice audiences across the globe. He's got no kung fu. Help! Help! None. The Forbidden Kingdom is the latest blockbuster made in China with local actors but backed entirely by US funding. It was shot at the sprawling Hengdian Chinese film Industrial Park Studios. As facilities like these attract more foreign investment, film lovers can look forward to more of the heady mix of China's art, culture and history on the big screen.